Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we'll walk through on how you can get the Gemini API key and use it in your environment. So let's get directly into the topic. So very first thing you need to do is you have to head to the site called Google AI Studio. Okay, you'll see the very first link. Uh, so you just go there. So if you go inside, if you have not logged in or signed up before, you will be asked to sign up to the platform. It's quite a straightforward process. It doesn't require much user. You can just continue using Google or you can just uh, use any email to get access to it. And after you complete the process, you'll get such interface and you can see all the test environment here. You can also do chat. You can also do stream. You can also do other, uh, you know, process that you already have in uh, available in Google. So uh, our focus would be here on bottom left corner, get an API key. So click there. So after that, you'll see some of the list of API keys that you uh, already have built. I've already done it um, here. So I'm not going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to create a new fresh API key for you to uh, see. So head to this button called create API key and click there. Uh, there might be some issue while uh, fetching the projects from your Google Cloud, Google Cloud console, but you can just um, keep on clicking it. It's a, I don't know, it's a smaller, small bug in the interface. And you select a project there and you can just create an API key um, with this, right? And then our API key will be created and you just copy this part or copy the API key and head to your project. So now what you need to do is you have to install some dependency, which is Google Generate API. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, pip install uh, Google dash generative AI. So you just run that. I've already installed it. So I'm not going to go through that. So uh, remember that I'm still in the virtual environment and I've already activated from this path, right? And we have used load.env to uh, actually fetch all the API keys present in .env file, which this function is helping. And then I've assigned a value to the API key from Gemini API key. And if there's no API key, then it is going to give us a value error. If not, I'm going to assign that value to uh, Gemini configuration. So if I run this application, let's see if everything goes right, it should be running the program and let's see how things work. Okay. So you can see we got a very nice answer. Uh, we asked what's the difference between a black hole and a neutron neutron star. It gave, gave us a very good um, in the, uh, already right answer already. So yeah, it's that simple to implement the API key from Gemini. There's other ways to uh, do it. Let's say if you do not want to use the .env file, then you can just do export uh, Gemini API underscore key and you users can paste the API key and hit the enter. So it will set the uh, environment with uh, with this key for the Gemini API key. So I hope this video is informative to you. Uh, it was a very short video, but um, I'm sure this is going to help you a lot. And I wish you all the best and see you in the next one. Bye bye.